H.D. Boyd is our guest here on the program, and I'm proud to say he's a county commissioner, and I can say that now because it's all legal. H.D., good morning. That's correct. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It is great to not have to struggle calling you a councilman anymore because you used to be a city councilman. I was a city councilman, and, uh, yeah, they, they passed the commissioner thing, but I I don't know if it, is it taking effect yet or is it July 1st, but either way. Either yeah. way, I'm observing it now, baby. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, I'm, a, I'm all about that as we speak. All right, the, uh, the legislative session has concluded its effect on counties, HD. Anything specific? Um, we had a few things come through. Um, the, the jail per diem bill uh, did go through, uh, which helped us here in Berkeley County. Um, we had the, um, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Um, what to do? Uh, it's the it's a pass through tax, I mm-hmm. believe. Um, that that got um, the excess tax. The John Hardy bill, the excess yes, tax. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Yeah. Uh, that that made it through last minute. Um, so they upped it to what fifty <clears throat> percent this year, or they get the whole hundred percent through? No, I think it's over the next uh, couple of years. But we, if if you use it, you have to update your election systems and get that all in order. And uh, which I believe we do already have. So you have to use fun- portions of that funds for that first, and then you get to keep the rest. But yes, it's moved it up. It was supposed to be over 10 years, and I think now it's five or, or four, something like the that. The per diem bill in round numbers, I think, went from 48 something a day to 54 something a day? That is correct. Yeah. And I, I remember talking to Senator Jason Barrett. I think there's also an incentive in there if you, like Berkeley County, make good use of a day report center to cut your costs down, it could be an even better benefit to you. Yeah, and that, that's why it benefits us. You know, we have that system put in place, unlike a lot of counties in the state. Uh, I th- think that's why there was some pushback to it. Uh, the the, the jail cost was going up regardless. Um, but for us, having that in place, that bill helped us because it, it gives us a, a, a break mm-hmm. on that. And, you know, um, we've we've added a few more officers this just here at the first of the year, and I believe we're going to add another one. Each one um, <clears throat> allows for, uh, I think, another 150 or, or, or 200 people to not be in jail now these are nonviolent criminals that did something that was stupid but you know they broke the law but mm-hmm. they get to stay with their families they get to stay in their job and they stay a productive member of the society they just have to report and they have to be on house arrest and whatever it is until their time is done but this um you know it takes a burden off the jails takes numbers out of there right. it t- keeps our costs down um you know i think it's saving us somewhere near like three million dollars a year right now yeah. if we didn't have that in place we would be paying that out of pocket smart system you know i think jails are for the <clears throat> violent and if you're if you're not violent then we need to do alternative sentencing if you're not a a, a violent threat to society yeah and a lot of them need help you know and, and they're getting that help there at the day report center mm-hmm. that, that, that's that's huge for berkeley county and, and 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 we're we're an example for for other counties a lot of people look at us um as as a model you know so um, i mean I, I wasn't part of putting that together but it's a great program they've got over there mm-hmm. matt miller as you all are responsible for fees and so forth with the regional jail here in the county, are you all involved? Is is the county council slash commission involved in any way in in say the corrections officers and those that work in that facility as well, or are they all hired through uh, the correction system in some way? At the jail, that they're state employees. I okay. Believe. Yeah, we we don't have control over that. Right. Um, uh, I've asked some questions about that mm-hmm. because there seems to be some issues in there. Um, you know, I've been I've been told from some of the people at the Day Report Center and things there there's some some problems in there, but that's mm. that's not in our control. Um, right. We have to pay, it, but it's not a county run jail. Right. That's a state jail, um, even though it's a, a regional. It's a it's state run. Um, one other thing that that per diem bill does is now the municipalities have to pay for at least their first day of their jailed person. So if the city puts somebody in jail, we were paying a bill before. Now they have to pay the first day. We we pay beyond the first day, mm-hmm. but if they put them in jail, they have to pay one day. 
So that takes a little off our bill as well. Do you know, <laughs> is the Eastern Regional Jail in the same trouble, if you will? Um, may not be the, the greatest term, but uh, we hear so much about a lack of corrections officers uh, all across our state. Are we in as bad a shape maybe there, do you know, as some other places? You know, I, can't, I can't speak right. to that. I, I've heard th- th- they are shorthanded and underpaid and Mm -hmm. you know but you know i can't really speak to that it's it's not my expertise and we're not involved there directly right johnny were there any other things that came out of the uh legislative session i mean i know now you're going to be a commission it's in dispute when we have july 1st i think is you know the probable (laughs) day i'm calling it today baby calling it today call the ball goose it's spring call the, uh, were there any other things that came out of the legislative session? Or let me, let me ask this better. Was there anything that did not come out of the legislative session that you were hoping for that would have benefited Berkeley County? Um, there were some late things that we came in with ideas that were right before the session that never even got written into anything, like, for say, the one cent sales tax or the uh, consumption tax. I'll be pushing on that this year to different people. You know, it, it's hard to. I, I came in. December 1st of January session was about to start. Mm -hmm. It's too late to get something started at that point. You could talk about it. You can go down there and talk to people, but you're not really getting it written and through or do anything with that at that time. Uh, There's a pushback or was a pushback from the governor. I was trying to get in his ear. I never got that opportunity yet. I'm hoping uh, in a couple Saturdays from now I will get to meet him. I don't know if it'll make a difference for next session or not, but you know, it doesn't, it's not going to pertain to every County in the state, but we could really use it here. You know, um, there was a fire, uh, something with a fire bill. Eddie could tell you a lot more about that. That's going to um, bring some money back here for, for paid firemen. Um, that, that works off of, I believe, your, your insurance bill. Um, but that was a super last-minute thing. Um, I'm I'm – Somewhat unfamiliar with that one. I'm not going to say too much about it because. Do we have? Uh, do we have? Uh, what, what is our budget <clears throat> surplus? Because I believe we do have a budget surplus here in Berkeley County. Budget surplus in Berkeley County. Um, that I'm not 100 uh, percent um, familiar with either. I do know that we we run a conservative budget. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't know the exact number of of what's left over. You know, there, there's numbers like what, what we fund to the CVB and to um, Parks and Rec through the hotel motel tax. They shoot those numbers low to be on the safe side of what their budget's going to be. I mean, this year they were on track to already be at their number, um, you know, six, seven months in. They're going to be way over. Um, which which is great for them. They're, they're seeing numbers they've never seen, money they've never seen. Parks and Rec is is stronger than they've ever been. You know we're working hard to get that um, park in in uh, Je- or not Jefferson in, in the south end of the county mm-hmm. in Musselman done. Uh, we 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 have, we have a lot of good things that we're working on now. You know you got the day report center done. We're getting ready to start the um, the addition to the day report center. Uh, that's a three story building on the front of that and and. And one of my big goals, and, and, and I think several of us there, is now working on um, bettering activities and things in the community. Um, I'm lost of words this morning for some reason. But um, basically, parks, trails, um, uh, the roundhouse project, uh, different things that, that, are, that are just going to better the community and, and things for people to do. Um, we're, at, we're at a point where... Our infrastructure's grown, people are here, and we, we need to provide a, a better environment for them. Are you guys pushing for uh, some more state or federal money for more infrastructure? I mean, especially as you head between Hedgesville, or you go out to Hedgesville, between Hedgesville, Berkeley Springs. A- absolutely. I mean, it, it's Rockville Pike at no, 5 I, I, o'clock. I it's terrible. I, and I had, I had a talk. I went to Charleston, and I had a talk with some people about that. And I got a little pushback. Um, because their their definition was there it's going to be a billion dollars to do that project and uh the next billion finishes corridor h that was my answer which so many people use yeah the uh, last right time, hey, I, I i don't disagree but you know that was the answer hey, I corridor got. h is beautiful 
I was on I was on quarter H a few uh, I guess last month we had meetings out that way. Yeah, you and how many? And of your as friends? the only car, yes, for miles, it was just beautiful. It, it was. was peaceful. It was serene. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like your own private highway. It is, <clears throat> but it is beautiful. I mean, hopefully, eventually that will that will be a, a corridor of a lot of business growth in the state. And I know that's and I what think, the I think In the meantime, Route 9 is now a corridor of all the business growth in the eastern panhandle. Route it's, 9, Route 11. I wouldn't even refer wrong. to it as a corridor. I'd refer to it as a parking lot most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, it's and you're not wrong. And, and I, did, I did speak to someone else um, after the session, and they said that there's the holdup on finishing Corridor H is bees, uh, environmental issue. Bees? Bees, yes. Um, so... There may be a chance we can move that money this way and um, figure out the B situation, then take the money back down there on the next round. So we all need to be very pro B, <laughs> and uh, you know the Bs, and let's uh, let's move that money over, and then then we can figure out. Uh, I'm going to go home and watch Jerry Seinfeld's B movie. Yes, to lend some oh. support. But, but it is going to take a lot of federal money to get any of that infrastructure done. There's no way we can Absolutely. pay for it here, and it's the state road. They mm-hmm. they wouldn't even. I don't know if they wouldn't allow us to do it. I'm sure they would allow us to do it if we, if we somewhere found a billion dollars but you know that's has there, has there been a study the question i have is has there been a study about how much money it's going to cost to relocate the bees that's what's important <laughs> <here>. <laughs> Hey, well, you know, you're a D.C. guy. You remember when they were trying to expand the, uh, what was it, the Woodrow Wilson Bridge? And how, oh, many, yeah. how many years? That took, what, 40 years? It took right? forever. Because yeah. they kept, every time they'd move a rock, they'd find another beaver or a squirrel or something, and it caused another environmental impact study. And, and uh, goodness gracious, in the, in the inter-county connector in Montgomery County, there was literally a guy who started work on his first day working on that project and retired 35 years later without it being built yet. And it was his entire job. They had an article in the Washington Post about the guy. It never got done until something like five years after he retired because of so many environmental studies. Every time you move a piece of dirt, it disturbs something. Wow. Well, I mean, if the bees could hold it up long enough, maybe we could get that right now. <laughs> Go bees. Make that honey, baby. Make that honey. I, I mean, uh, unfortunately, that is the answer I got uh, down there. Are there other infrastructure problems that are um, <clears throat> that are facing Berkeley County right now besides roads? Um, there's Internet and some other things, but we've been working on that. Um, we're working with some of the Internet for providers to, to get over on, on the further west side of the county. Um, you know, we... we we're also working to um, change some things with stormwater stuff. We, we signed a, a contract to be uh, co-signers with the uh, sewer department on the stormwater. I guess I guess it's the sewer department or the stormwater department. I don't know if they're separate departments or not. I think they all work hand in hand. But we, we have um, signed a co-signership with them to finally move that forward. Uh, that will be bringing the fees out of the west over the mountain they won't have to pay anymore um and bring more more of the fees to the corridor but um you know i don't believe people's household fees will change but some some businesses down the 81 corridor may be changing i do speaking of businesses on the 81 corridor, i remember we had somebody in a month or two ago uh from the development authority who basically intimated that that we may have lost a little bit of business that there was a, a company or two that was trying to come to berkeley county but we didn't have the the water capacity for them. How are we? What are we doing to address that? Because, I mean, if we're losing major employers, because I mean, we have an infrastructure thing that's not being we addressed. Are, we are working on that. Um, some money came out of Charleston out of this last session. I believe twenty five million dollars for the water infrastructure here. Um, the, the problem is we have all the water we want out of uh, Potomac River, but it all has to be pumped uphill and all the way to the south end of the county. So it's the river is the farthest point away from where the water needs to be. Um, they are uh, exploring wells in, in South Berkeley County. Uh, there were some very big wells down there that were used for apple orchards and different things and apple processing plants down there that they've identified. Um, they're testing to see what the, what the output could be. Those could be big answers to the problems that they're having down there to get that water. So those would require putting, I guess, like a treatment facility and yes. down the south end. Correct. But we have $25 million now. Well, right? it's going to be a lot more than that. Oh, yeah. The no, total, the total project. Oh, no, no. That, that that still was water money. That's not counting. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm saying that just as a, that's a start. It's like a right. It, no, it is a start, but it. no, they have a whole they have a whole pro, um, program put together. It, it's it's in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Right. But but yeah, it's being worked on. 
that is being worked on. Um, so that that's that's a big project to, to start here soon. But yeah, yeah. Is the development in Berkeley County continuing at the pace it had been no. HD? Is it slowing now? It's the the. The, the rates have slowed everything down. Interest rates. Mm -hmm. Interest rates have slowed everything down. Um, I believe, like last month, they, there was maybe zero or or less than twenty five water hookups for new builds. So it's slowed down tremendously. Um, it, it doesn't mean in the next few months there won't be more. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's proposed housing projects, but there's still a ways out. That's a problem with there. There's been a big pushback it didn't even really hit our desk yet but it's in planning a development on the old reiner farm um you know it, it, people know about it they've already been calling us about it but they're proposing 400 houses in there and there's no water for that um they would have to put in their own water tower and some other things but um it, where, where is the old reiner farm just out of it curiosity. is between, it is just between, roughly <laughs> from roughly from tavern road almost to route nine all the way back to ridge road and up to Welltown Road. Wow, yeah, I know exactly where you're talking about. <laughs> yes, yes, 400 houses they're proposing there. Um, that is a um, like a pre-built community type deal. They would have community centers, pools, sidewalks, lights, all that. And um, getting a pool till we solve that water problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not getting a house till you solve that water problem. <laughs> right. So HD the uh, I'm sorry, finish. Your no, you're answer. fine. Yeah, I was say the thought has been floated in the capital in regards to locality pay because of the response by some of the members of the more southern delegations in the state. Give us back our severance tax money. Oh. And uh, you can have your locality pay. So I texted Alan Davis one day and asked how much Berkeley County gets in coal severance money. He said about $250,000 was the latest one that came in. It's been lower than that in the past. Uh, times are better now, so it's higher. Is that something that you would entertain as a Berkeley County Council member? Uh, that, that Absolutely, change? and I entertained it during our budget talks, but I was kind of shot down until that, that has to go through the state and everybody would have to give it back it's not just us right um so because i was like let's not spend it set it there and so we can send it back because we'd rather have the locality pay you know i was at the session sitting in the in the gallery when that conversation took place it was very interesting um upsetting but interesting and um i, I just you know that that's important up here and then uh, jason pushed something through the senate the next day and it went to jason the barrett yeah uh-huh I'm sorry. Yeah, Jason Barrett pushed it through the next day through the Senate with some changes to it. Um, I'm not sure if that went all the way through the House. I don't think it did. No, the House voted it down. It was a study. It didn't commit any money, right. but they wouldn't even vote for this non-financial study. Right. Uh, I mean, there were, there were several people in favor of even Democrats and Republicans. It was just, from what I hear, there's about 25 new Republicans from the southern part of the state that are, you know, they're way, way right, and they weren't hearing it. Yeah, Unfortunately. It, it, the vote, however, was closer than it's been in the well, past. I think fifty-two forty-five was the last vote. Which is was his, that? But was that the Senate bill that Jason put through, or was that the House bill that tried to go through? That was the House bill that tried to go right. through. I think. Right, Jason. Jason proposed a different one that, that took out limiting to five counties. Mm -hmm. It would. It would not limit. It, mm -hmm. That was one of the pushbacks too. Well, who are the five counties that are going to get this? You know, so Jason put something through from the Senate side that didn't limit how many counties. But I don't know if it even ever got read on the on the House. I side. think Jason said and he'll be on tomorrow. Yeah. I think Jason said that it never actually was never came out it, committee. It, it didn't come out the way he wrote it. Had they left it the way he wrote it, he thought it would have had a better chance. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you're a new councilman. The county has a, uh, a contract with a firm that lobbies on behalf of the county, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that contract has come under some criticism from folks who don't think that you need that or, or, and that you don't need to spend the money on that. Uh, you've, I guess, short time that you've been exposed to it. Do you have any thoughts on the contract? Is Berkeley County getting a financial benefit from it? Would you vote to continue the contract? Because I think it's up this year. Um. I think we should look at it. Uh, some things change in the contract. I don't. I'm not. I'm not opposed to it. I, I think we get things done with it. Honestly, it puts us a voice there every day. Somebody who has their foot in the door there every day. Um, we got an opportunity to go there. I went down for almost a week. Eddie and Steve went down as well. You know. Um, that person was able to put us in people's doors and in their rooms immediately. You know, set up meetings uh, quickly, um, and and. 
I truly believe that if we just went down there by ourselves without having that representation, mm -hmm. it would be much harder to reach the people we wanted to reach and get to who we wanted to talk to. Um, the relationship that 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 firm has down there is, is good. And it, it's it, it's a big presence. They've been there a long time. They know everybody's name. They know the faces. I mean, of course, you have new people every session, mm -hmm. or not every session, but you know, every election. Um, but they're 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 well rooted in, in Charleston, and I think that's important to have. I, I mean, I don't know if how much we pay for it. I, you know, that could be visited. You know, we can negotiate that. I think, but um, it, I don't think it's outrageous though. I really don't. I think it is important. Um, I mean, we we. We're doing budgets during session. It, we have mm -hmm. workshops during session. You know, I wanted to be down there more this session than, than I was able to get there. You know, we have meetings, two, three, four meetings a week during that time of the session. You know, um, <clears throat> it, it was just nearly impossible to get down there to almost the end. Uh, if, if I could be down there the whole time and lobbying or, or trying to get in people's ears for things, I would. We had a, we had a set list of things that we wanted – to try to get through and, and push. And, and honestly, this list, from what I understand, hasn't changed in a few years, but this year, like three quarters of the list went through. So things got done, and uh, I, I'm, I'm not against it. And programming notes, Summer Barrett will be on the program tomorrow morning yeah. to give us more information about she, what got through. She could tell you, yeah. Uh, she had that list. I, I was new. It was my, one of my first meetings. It was, it was early December. We met um, with the delegates and senators that were available in the area, and we went over the list of importances that Berkeley County had made. And, of course, this was a list that was made before I came into office. Um, but I still got to participate and, and listen to what their, their interests were at that point in time. And, you know, they went down there, and they got a lot of it done this year. Any final know? questions for Commissioner Boyd? <laughs> no, I don't think so. What do you want to see happen this year in the county? I want to see um, community development in a whole. Um, I want to see these new parks get going. I want to see these trails get up and going. I want to see the roundhouse project get nearer to completion. I want to see um, a, a lot of these projects that have been patchworked for years. I want to see any extra funds that we may have getting these projects done to, to make us a better community, to have more things for kids to do. Um, you know, we're, we're working a deal between uh, Parks and Rec, schools, and the girls' softball field right now, trying to get lights and turf over there uh, at P.F. Faulkner on the girls' softball field. You know, um, we're, we're trying to make it a permanent home for Martinsburg girls' softball. You know, that's a year-to-year -year thing has been for a long time. Um, I've been working on that. Uh, you know, there, there, there's a lot of good things that, that we're working on and haven't been working on, but I want to continue to see them grow. You know, they, 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 they've, they've worked and we have been working really hard to, to fix the drug problem. And, and now it's time to, to make the community inviting, welcoming, and, and make it more whole. HD, you'll be at the Roundhouse this weekend, right? I will, absolutely. Yeah, what are people looking for? Uh, well, the home shows this weekend. It's uh, the biggest event that we have there at the Roundhouse at this time. Uh, last year was good. It was a little chilly. Uh, the weather should be a little better this year. This week it's going to be really nice, and then this weekend is going to drop a little bit. But I don't think it's going to be like last year. Last year it snowed on Sunday. It was it was really cold. Oh, yeah. but, um, Arctic. I'm looking forward to that. Um, if you don't know about it, uh, they showcase landscapers, home builders, uh, lots of different things, heating and air, uh, anything you need for your house. Uh, but come on down to the Roundhouse this weekend. Check it out. Come through, see our facility. Uh, the facility is always for rent. Uh, we do weddings. We do shows. We do what. Whatever you could come up with down there, it's available. Um, that project is well underway. We break ground first of the month on the elevator and steps for the uh, for the bridge shop. We finally got to that stage. Um, that building is really close. I'm hoping by next year it'll be up and operational. So uh, we have some big plans there. That's going to be a big thing. Very nice. Where's the food truck going to be? Yours. Uh, we should be right outside the frog shop. Um, I believe there'll be three food trucks there this weekend. All so, right. Out right outside the frog shop, right across from the elevator. Yours is fed up, right? I'm fed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fed us last year, dude. It was great. No, and we are. We'll be there feeding the uh, staff on Friday, and then we'll be there Saturday and Sunday um, 
you know, selling to the public. Thanks, HD. Yep.